Yeah. That's probably he probably got me. All right. Should we talk about Ty Rivera real quick before we close up shop here? Definitely. This was the I I liked this. This is the tie I've been looking for. And it's kind of like what we talked about with Howie Mandel. Is like if you're honest, then say whatever the fuck you want. It's just like phony horse shit that I hate. Like I hate like when Ty was going on a couple weeks ago and just called Rebecca Trent a drug addict. <laughs> Then it's like, okay, you're being a fucking fraud. When you're blaming Tony Hinchcliffe for uh, people unaliving themselves, <laughs> that's what's crazy, Ty. That's when you're getting a little nuts. This, I think Ty calmed down a little bit, and this guy is more relatable. And I can actually listen to this guy's shit talk because he seems like a human being. There's a part of me that really does love Tony because, like I said, I met him when he first came to L.A., and he was just, you know, he wasn't a kid kid, but he was younger than he is now, obviously. And he was trying to figure things out. And so there's a part of me that really does have a soft spot for Tony. But there's also a part of me that's watched him turn into something that I sometimes feel like it's that person that was bullied a lot when they were younger and now they think the way to handle the fact that they found themselves in what you could call a position of power is to be a bully towards people that they consider to be less than them. And that was something that I could only ever get so bothered by because it wasn't something I was an actual recipient of. So See, like when he's talking rationally, I'm like, oh, you're actually kind of making some good points, you know, <laughs> you're not being like, I completely hate Tony. It's like, yeah, we know. But yeah. Like when you don't, when you aren't trying to trick us with how evil Tony is, you can actually logically talk about some of his faults. And it's like, yeah, when you listen to kill Tony now, there is a little bit of that. He thinks he's like God now when he shits on some of these people. So there is an element of that. Now, when you're saying he's at fault for someone killing themselves, that's where you get crazy. <laughs> So, so I like this guy. This guy is a genuine shit talker that I can be like, okay, maybe there's some merit to what he's saying. Yeah, when it comes to Tony, it was like he would sometimes be shitty with people. And that's kind of what I was addressing when I said what I said about the Nick Roche situation. Because what I was saying on that that I don't think a lot of people really got was... That with these younger comics, and then when it comes to older comics like me and Tony, or comics that are more seasoned or have been around a little more, like, yeah, you can joke with them and you can shit on them a little bit, but in the end, you have to in some way let them know that you were just joking and tell them something positive, you know, because a lot of them are in more vulnerable situations. And, you know, Things like this can happen where somebody is already feeling down about themselves. And then I don't think anybody pushes anybody over the edge. But there are things that we can do that definitely won't help. Where's this reasonable man been this whole time? <laughs> he's, he's finally come all the way down, I think. You know, like, it's great to be a shock jock to get a few views. But, like, this is a human being I could actually listen to talk about the goings on in Austin comedy. Because he seems like a fucking person. He's not. And to, like, uh, Ty, he's like, you know, some people didn't get what I was saying about the Nick Roche situation. You said it was Tony's fault. We, we all got what you said. You said something horrible that people were like, okay, that's a little far, you know? Right. Like you were kind of be trying to be a, a shock jock of sorts. So this, this tie I like and could get behind. This guy seemed much more reasonable and didn't seem as bitter. It's kind of like the Marin thing we were talking about earlier. Like if you just said Rogan takes himself too seriously and thinks he's smarter than he is, sure, perfectly valid criticism. If you say Joe Rogan is literally the reason for all of the country's problems, <laughs> may, maybe that's a little more. Now we got to, as Boogie would say, I got to push back on you a little bit, you know? Back a little bit. We could have had the board do it, but I let for your <laughs> invitation, I guess. Does this mean Ty's back working the mothership? No, Ty is retired from comedy, apparently. I see. Which well, is odd that he complains so much about not being booked for a guy that's retired. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's disgusting. That I didn't know that. So all those videos for nothing. Yeah, he claims he's retired, and he's like, and the fucking, I'm banned from the mothership. It's like, well, yeah. but so am I then, I guess. I can't work there either. <laughs> now he can finally speak his mind. Yes. Tony, by the way, um, when most people are watching this, tonight will be on the Tom Brady roast. The Tom Brady roast is tonight? Well, sure. Yes, Sunday, tonight. When oh, right. Every Blind Mike project. Right. That's right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking, see, my brain is with the patrons and the... Uh... The, oh, the good members, people. yeah, the, the good people. I understand. That's that right. Sense. Where do understand. you watch that? OnlyFans TV, <laughs> Netflix. No, David. <laughs> it's actually Patreon or YouTube. You can go to blindmike.net and find all of our links very easily there, including uh, becoming a Patreon or YouTube member. You can find the links there, blindmike.net. So I'm glad you asked. Well, I was referring to the roast of Tom Brady. Gotcha. If, you listen, if you listen back, you'll hear me say Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is on Netflix. Um, surprisingly few, they really went football player heavy for some reason. Like it's in comics. See, I think that'll be more interesting though. Interesting. Sure. If that's what you're going for. Yeah. Funny, I question. Well, I well question. you can expect many people that you know and love are behind the scenes doing the writing, but certainly right. it's, it's odd to watch a roast when it's people that, you know, have no relationship or doing the roasting. That should, did you hear me on? Uh, I mentioned this on KMS today, but Schultz had a gr Andrew Schultz had a great point, despite what Mark Maron thinks. Wow, about him. I know it's crazy. Uh, but Andrew Schultz said Netflix is fucking up doing it live because all those Comedy Central roasts are like heavily produced and edited. Yeah, Netflix is going live, and Andrew Schultz said, uh, You're making football players read. <laughs> might, not be, <laughs> might not be the smartest idea <laughs> that's fucking great yeah that's a good like gronk has to read live at this and be funny do you know how much pussy me and tom got like so much dude it's going it's gonna, laughs. it's gonna be tough um but yeah also uh tonight tonight actually if you're a patron tonight uh colin quinn's special is up and I'm it looks very, pretty good so very excited for that, for that. 